Hello learners, my name is Alok Bhanushali and I'm from Department of Accounting and Finance and today we're gonna learn what is partnership accounting. So today we, are, we will covering basic concepts of partnership account in which first topic is what is the meaning of partnership. Now partnership is a formal arrangement by two or more parties to manage and operate a business and share it profits. When two partners come together and form a firm, it is known as partnership firm. Individually, those are known as partners and collectively, they are known as partnership firm. Say for example, A and B come together and form A, B and company. A, B and company. So A will be known as partners. And AB and company will be known as partnership. Next, partners are of many types, in which some types we are covering that is active manage, active partner, sleeping partner, nominal partner, partner by estoppel, partners in profit only, minor partner, secret partner, and sub partner. So we will see what is active partner now active managing partner mainly takes part in the day-to-day -day running business and also takes active participation in the conduct and management of the business firm he carry the daily business activities on behalf of other partners to be precise he act as an agent of all the other partners in order to run main function pertaining to business next is sleeping partner now, sleeping partner is also known as doorman partner. This partner does not participate in the day-to-day -day functioning activities of the partnership firm. A person who has sufficient money or interest in the firm but cannot devote his time. Important is he cannot devote his time to the business. Can act as a sleeping partner in the firm. However, he is bound by all the acts of the other partner. Nominal partner. Now, what is nominal partner? A nominal partner does not have any real or significant interest in the partnership firm. Simple word, he is only lending his name to the firm and does not have a voice in the management of the firm. On the strength of his name, nominal partners only provide his name to the partnership. And on that name, the firm can promote its sales in the market or can get more credit from the market. Next is partner by estoppel. Partner by estoppel is a partner who display by his words, actions or conduct that he is the partner of the firm. In simple word, even though he is not the partner, important he is not the partner in the firm, but he acts like he is a partner. He has represented himself in such a manner that he become a partner by estoppel or partners by holding out. Next, partners in profits only. Now this partner of a firm will only share the profit of the firm and won't be liable for any loss of the firm. Uh, if I talk in Hindi, if the, I take a name of the movie, if there is a profit, he will say, Hum saath saath hai. And if there is a loss, he will say, Hum aapke hai kaun. So that is the mean behind the partners in profit only. Then comes minor partner. Very interesting topic. Minor means the person who does not attain the age of majority, that is 18 years. If a partner is below 18 years of age, he is known as minor partner. He can be a partner, but only for the beneficiary. After the age of 18, after he attained the age of 18, he has to decide within six months that he is willing to become a partner for the firm in future also, or he want to discontinue. So both the reason, in both the way, he has to give a declaration in a public notice. He has to give a declaration in public notice. Next is secret partner. In a partnership, the position of secret partners lies between active and sleeping partner. The members of the firm of a secret partner is kept secret from the outsiders and third parties. His liability is unlimited since he holds a share in the profit and share liabilities for losses in the business. Next is sub partner. A sub partner is a partner who associates someone else in his share of the firm. 
से फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए एंड बी आर पार्टनर्स एंड ए शेयर हिज प्रॉफिट विथ सी सो ए एंड बी आर पार्टनर्स एंड सी इज सब पार्टनर्स बी इज सी इज सब पार्टनर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज पार्टनरशिप ना वॉट इज पार्टनरशिप एंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ पार्टनरशिप सो देर आर बेसिकली डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पार्टनरशिप इन विच वी आर गॉन स्टडी पार्टनरशिप एट विल पर्टिकुलर पार्टनरशिप पार्टनरशिप फॉर अ फिक्स टर्म फ्लेक्सिबल पार्टनरशिप लीगल पार्टनरशिप एंड इलीगल पार्टनरशिप ना सर वॉट इज पार्टनरशिप एट विल वेन अ पार्टनरशिप इज क्रिएटेड अपॉन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द पार्टनर टू डिसाइड दैट टिल वेन दे वॉन्ट द पार्टनरशिप टू एग्जिस्ट therefore whenever a person is created without the determination of a specific time limit when there is no specific time limit that partnership will when will when it will be uh, discreted when it will be deleted when it will be comes to end if there is no specific time then it is known as partnership at will such partnership is based upon the will of the partner and it can be brought to an end whenever any of the partner serves a notice depicting intention for the same then particular partnership the main objective behind a particular partnership is to carry out a specific undertaking such a partnership is created between partners for a project of a temporary contract based work if some partners come together to form a create uh, to form a bridge and after the bridge is uh, completed partnership will comes to end that is known as particular partnership then partnership for a fixed term when the partnership is for a fixed period of time fixed period of time say 5 years or 2 years or any specified duration of time and after the duration of time gets expire partnership automatically comes to an end then there is a flexible partnership partnership which are neither for a fixed duration of time nor for any particular venture are called flexible partnership next comes legal partnership when the partnership is formed in accordance with the provision of indian contract act 1872 and indian partnership act 1932 it will be termed as a legal partnership if there is a legal provisions if there is a partnership created under any contract act or any indian partnership act it is legal partnership then it comes illegal partnership the partnership can become illegal when it volatiles the provisions of any law of the country or when the requisite number of partners exceed beyond a time limit say for example if the partnership uh, is for banking and there are 20 partners it is okay but if 20 partners cross it then the partnership become illegal next important topic is partnership deed because in partnership most important is the partnership deed now what is partnership deed partnership deed is a return agreement among the partners providing for rules and regulation it is signed by all the partners it is stamped as per the stamp act it is basically terms and condition between the partners in partnership deed there is the name of the firm name and address of the partners nature of business date of commencement duration period if any amount of capital to be brought by each partner and the amount of drawings that may be permitted in anticipation of profit and the manner of withdrawal next position in partnership agreement is silent if partnership deed is silent what will be the assumption we have to take related to some important points so that is profit and loss sir if partnership deed is silent then profit and loss should be it should be shared equally among partners it should be shared equally if partners giving capital so whether they will get interest on capital no partners will not receive any interest on capital partners will not be entitled to any share or commission but if the partner has provided any loan to the firm he will receive interest like at what rate he will receive it at 6% per annum next and last topic is profit and loss appropriation account in partnership we have to prepare profit and loss appropriation account it is a special feature of partnership account 
which is prepared in the addition of normal profit and loss account. Once profit and loss from business as per the usual method is arrived, the profit and loss instead of being transferred to balance sheet is transferred to profit and loss appropriation account. Entries to be passed in profit and loss appropriation account. See, here we will pass salary to partners. Entries will be related to salary to partners, interest on capital, interest on drawing and interest on loan. Sir, if salary or interest on capital or loan is to be paid to the partners, what will be the entry? Entry will be PNL appropriation account debit to partners capital account. And for interest to be charged on drawing, entry will be reverse. It will be partners capital account debit to profit and loss appropriation account. I hope you have understood the basic concepts of partnership. So here I will stop my lecture and thank you for your listening.